All right, man, let me shoot the video. Let me get out the way. Uh, hey, man, all the USC fans, all the USC haters, whatever. Hey, listen, it was a heartbreaking loss for USC, USC fans, myself. I watched the game. I'm like, man, I can't believe, you know what I'm saying, this game is this close, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Lane. They did their thing. And, uh, you know, I got to give an apology because I didn't watch not one two-lane game this year, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't even expect them to even be this close. But when I saw the bookies and the odds makers in Vegas got it at 1.5 and two points and shit like that for U.S., I'm like, man, hold on. They, they know something I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be real. I called around and I sent over $200, you know what I'm saying, to win a couple hundred dollars on USC because I'm like, shit, 1.5? I got the, in the back of my mind, I'm like, Last time I did this, I'm in Vegas, lost a couple hundred, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, this USC, we can redemption over Utah, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to win this game by two points, whatever, right? But when they handed me my pet slip, it said, even money. I said, whoa, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So let's get to it. Man, started off cool. Offense is doing its thing. It was kind of slow to me, but I'm like, damn, we like barely getting third downs and barely getting fourth down plays and barely getting down the field, whatever, whatever, whatever. However it goes, it's going to go. We getting down the field. Bam, 7 nothing. Bam, we do it again. I'm going to cover up a couple of touchdowns. But uh, I'm just like, man, these motherfuckers is, is, is hanging in there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, listen, I ain't, I ain't really got too much bad say about defense because offense is making up for it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a team thing. I'm just like, these motherfuckers is coming close. So we was up, I think, 12 points. I'm like, man, we need to score. We need to score a touchdown and put these motherfuckers away. You know what I'm saying? Secure my $200. You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't really about the two hundred dollars, but it's like, damn, come on, USC, man, y'all, y'all, y'all bullshitting. And we got the field goal. I said, okay, cool, we have fifteen points, whatever. I'm like, I'm still like, this game ain't over. I'm like, this ain't secure because that number twenty two Spears is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's a talented athlete, man. Them motherfucker got some athletes over there, whatever, whatever, whatever. Man, that motherfucker scored in ten seconds. I'm like, oh no, nah. then I got a safety. Oh no, nah. I was like, man. But my school, we have six points. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we have six points. And my mom like, man, we need to make something happen. Man, listen, man. It was a heartbreaking loss, man. I feel bad for the players. <laughs> I don't know. They're like, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? I really didn't want to shoot this video. I really about to go about business, but I had to shoot it, man. Listen, heartbreaking loss, man. Uh, I lost $200 on it. I'm not betting no more. I bet three times this year on USC. They lost every time I bet. The first Utah, the second Utah game in this game, that's $400, 200 200 800 I could have had in my pocket. I'm done gambling. I really don't really be gambling. Except I haven't gambled in years. Not no sports bet. I don't do no sports bet. But like I said, I'm a USC fan. I think we can win. I got faith in this. But that's besides the point. Hey, man, listen. Uh, heartbreaking loss, man. We got a lot of work to do this offseason. I can't be too mad. You know what I'm saying? 11 and 3 whatever, you know what I'm saying, the final record. It's not bad for us going 4-8 and eight last year. You know, we got a good head coach. We got some good athletes on the team. We got some good athletes coming in. You know what I'm saying, fight on. And uh, we got some, we got some, we got a lot of stuff we got to do this offseason, man, because motherfuckers coming to play. This transfer report all these teams is kind of getting even. You know what I'm saying, a lot of recruits is going to these teams, and uh, they ain't liking they, where they're sitting at. They ain't getting a playing time, and they're moving somewhere they can play. So really all these teams is kind of like being even. It ain't going to be no more. You know, five or ten, top ten, top ten teams at the top, and everybody else at the bottom. You see TCU going now championship. You know what I'm saying? Look at them. They were they won two games last. They beat USC in the Cotton Bowl, so New Year's Six Bowl. So a lot of this shit's about to be even, and it's gonna come down to you know what I'm saying, teamwork. You know what I'm saying? Good coaching, discipline, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't count out nobody no more. Transfer portal made shit real. You got motherfuckers who was wasn't even a five star athlete for whatever type of reason, got two, three good years in college, the experience, and can play with whoever. So they overlooking it. So it's really like all these three stars, they all, everybody's saying. <sighs> Rosters is filling, everybody finding their spot. 2023 going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Whew, see y'all soon. Fight on.